five and six record. They last played on the 20th on Monday or on a, yeah Monday evening against over in Fairbury, and they lost that game in three straight sets. So the Beatrice Lady O were looking to rebound from that loss just the other night. On the flip side, your Wahoo Warriors come into this game with a 10 and three record, which in and of itself is quite good. But then when you look at their schedule a little more closely, those three losses that they've got have come against three high quality ranked opponents. They lost the second game of their season to number one in class B Norris in a triangular. Then they lost on the 16th of August to Oakland Craig, who is currently ranked number four in Class C2. And then last Saturday in the Seward Invitational Championship game, they lost to Lincoln Lutheran, who is number one in Class C1 as well. So their three losses are all very high quality losses. So this is gonna be a tough match for our Beatrice Lady O tonight. But uh, the last time we saw them here at home, they're playing against Malcolm, who had beaten them just a week or a week and a half before that, and uh, came back and won that game in three straight sets last Thursday night when we are here in the Ozone. So they're looking to do kind of the same thing tonight and uh, see if they can rebound. You can already tell this is going to be a very, very good game. Getting things started in here tonight. Um, a couple other things as we're winding down the season here. Beatrice has got um, about a third of their schedule left, but uh, it is time to start thinking postseason here at some point. Um, Beatrice cur currently sits 18th in the wild card points. So, uh, of course, you're looking to be inside that top 16 for sure to have a chance to play in that district final to get you into the state tournament. So Beatrice is going to need to look to pick up some, uh, some not just wins, but some quality wins here down the, the end of the season to help them out with that. Wahoo, on the other hand, currently sits seventh in the wild card points in Class C1, so they're in pretty good shape there. And they are currently ranked number six in Class B coming into this game. As we said, we don't have Brian Cook tonight. He's out ill, so I'm filling in for him. We'll do the best that we can. We'll get you starters here in just a minute. And uh, one of the things we're going to look to do tonight is try and fill everybody in with all of the other things that are happening in and around Beatrice High School uh, this time of year because, oh, my goodness, there is a lot, you know, for our sports. Uh, a lot of conference tournaments coming up pretty soon. Um, marching band had a conference uh, competition yesterday. We'll talk about all of those things and go from there as we go through the night. Pause here just for a second for our national anthem. And there is your national anthem. We'll jump next into our starting lineups. First for Wahoo, we have a senior, five foot six senior, number two, Taylor Lubin. A six foot senior, number four, Josie Sutton. A five six freshman, number five, Audrey Wado. A 5'11 senior, Maya Larson, number seven. 
A 5'7 freshman, number eight, Chloe Kasiski. A 5'8 junior, number 10, Tiana Coffey. And a 5'11 freshman, number 18, Hayden Oshmera. And their head coach is Katie Reeves. And now here are your starters for the Beatrice Lady O. A 5'5 sophomore playing libero, number five, Addie Hatcliffe. A 5'11 sophomore hitting from the right side, number eight, Kiera Busboom. A 5'5 senior at setter, number 10, Jaden Kaderis. A 5'11 sophomore, the outside hitter, number 11, Ellie Jurgens. A six foot junior playing middle, number 14, Emily Allen. A 5'10 freshman playing middle, number 15, Annie Gleason. And a 5'7 sophomore on outside hitter, number 17, Avery Martin. Wahoo did play uh, on Tuesday night of this week. And uh, they were at Ashland Greenwood. They won that match three sets to none on the road there. So that is their most recent match. Beatrice, of course, as we previously stated, their most recent match was Monday night. And uh, they lost that match over at Fairbury. Just about ready to get started here. And Beatrice has won the serve, so back to serve first would be number 10, Jaden Kaderis. Swing by Wahoo was there. It was, it was uh, number four, Josie Sutton, but they were in the net, so point Beatrice. A serve, Jaden Kaderis, nice little floater, lands inside the back line. We saw a few of those last week when we were here, didn't we, Alex? Indeed, they were very impressive, and they always will be very impressive. Kaderis on the serve. That's number 18, Hayden Oshmera, the 5'11 freshman with the kill there for Wahoo. One of the things you'll notice about that Wahoo lineup, they are starting three freshmen tonight coming off a state championship last year. And then that serve was long. Back to serve now for the Lady O, number one, Hannah Ray. Back serving now for the Warriors, number four, Josie Sutton. dig there by Hannah Ray on the back line. Results in a free ball back over the net for Beatrice. Swing Emily Allen and the kill. Yeah. 
Lee Atchison on that there. Point Wahoo. Yeah, service there. That's one of those things we're going to keep track of as the night goes along. That one was uh, Addie Hatcliffe there. The first one of the night for Beatrice, though. So just got to keep those to a minimum. Let's hope it's not too much. Wahoo in the net there. <laughs> Wahoo oh, with their second service error of the night. They return the favor. Uh, this is not a good omen. Beatrice with the serve here. And that one finds the back corner there. Back to serve for the Warriors. Number seven, Maya Larson. A little tip shot there on the corner. That was uh, number 18, Hayden Ashmera again with that kill. It's not always about swinging super hard. It's about finding that hole in the floor. It's about, it's about finding the perfect opportunity to strike. A little miscommunication there on the Beatrice side, unfortunately. Results in another point for Wahoo. Scores now 7-5 to five in favor of the Warriors. Like I said last time, communication is very important in volleyball. If, if communication doesn't go through properly, then it could mess up the entire play. at a current score of Wahoo 8, Beatrice 5. Serving for the Warriors, Maya Larson. Beatrice sends it over with a bump. Wahoo returns the favor with a spike, but it's Num over. Number 18, Hayden Ashmera again. That time her swing is long. Back now to serve for Beatrice. Ellie Jurgens. she has that little jump serve in the corner here. Good serve, sets up Beatrice for their offense. Big swing by Wahoo, dug up nicely by Ellie. Another one, she just can't quite come down with that one that time. Good dig on the serve, goes back over the net, sets up Wahoo for their offense now. Good back row swing by Maya Larson, finds that back corner. Sometimes it's a little tricky when you're looking front row, front row, front row all of a sudden to try and have to be ready for that back row swing. Yeah, just get ready for the attack. And, and there, there is your swing and kill on the first one there by Avery Martin, number 17, your sophomore. Chelsea Leonard's back to serve. <laughs> Blocked by Emily Allen right there in the middle. That's why they got her there. She's gotten a few of those. Just with the serve here. Wahoo tries to go on the attack, but it goes right in the net. Point Beatrice. Oh. 
Couldn't quite dig that one up there, Chelsea. Got a little issue with our scoreboard tonight, so I'm a little distracted trying to get that one figured out. It's trying to run a football score for us right now. We see, uh, you know, we got the score right on there, but uh, we're trying to do down and distance over there on the right side. So we'll see if we can get that figured out. Speaking of football, we'll have that uh, huge football game out in the House of Orange tomorrow night on Beam as well. Right here you can see that one. That is slated to kick off at 7 o'clock. I'm looking forward to that. Isn't that uh, the first uh, football game that Beam is going to be broadcasting? That will be our first uh, big production of <laughs> a football <laughs> game. We did a couple last year with just a single camera, but uh, this should be much better than those were, hopefully. I'm looking forward to that. Be sure to catch the, uh, the marching band at halftime. Of course. Big swing by Beatrice. Ball bounces up and ricochets off the backboard and down for a point for the Lady O. Jaden Kaderis back to serve now. Score Wahoo 13, Beatrice 10. Beatrice just can't seem to can't seem to close that gap. We need to need to get that fixed. Back serving for Wahoo is Ashmera. Some really nice job rallying there to keep that ball alive. Swing and it's long on behalf of Wahoo. Now back to serve for the Lady O. That one finds the back corner as well. Uh, who would serve here? And the net goes. Point Beatrice. That serve is long. As Alex said, we just kind of go back and forth here, back and forth, just uh, hoping that. Uh, we need to go on a little run here at some point. Well, who I've noticed they are, they're very fast and they hit hard and not giving enough time for a defensive line to get up. Killed by Bus Boom on that one and now she's back to serve. Ace serve for Kiera. there on Wahoo's side, that cost them, point Beatrice. And there it is, now we've gone on a little run, we got a tie score, 15 all. Let's see if we can keep this going. Beatrice now up in front after going on a four-point run. Beatrice to serve, but it goes into the net. That is the third service error of the night now, unfortunately, for Beatrice. To Wahoo's two service errors. A little floating jump serve there. Beatrice on the attack. Wahoo returns with another attack. Oh, it was a bump, and it is good. They find that hole right in the middle of the court again. 
they're very good at finding the the, the holes in our defense. We need to uh, create a tighter defense so there's no more no more gaps. And one of those you got to go sell out for that block, but then sometimes when you sell out for the block, that leaves that hole in the middle of the floor. It's where that communication comes in. Just like most sports, communication is key. Timeout for Beatrice. Do want to uh, talk briefly. We mentioned earlier that we had that uh, Trailblazer Conference marching band thing yesterday. This, of course, is also a Trailblazer Conference matchup between uh, Wahoo and Beatrice, the second year for this conference. But we had that Trailblazer marching band thing yesterday, the first time we've ever had that. Of course, it was canceled last year due to COVID. But uh, myself as the band director and all of the band students in Color Garden, we went up to Platteview High School yesterday. Well, thank you to them for hosting that event. It was very well done. But uh, up there, and we, we had a couple of performances, one in the morning where we just stayed, stood on the field and we played our show and got some feedback from our judges that way, and it was that was fantastic. And then a chance in the afternoon to go back and uh, do our entire show, um, you know, that folks can see at halftime of a football game as well. But um, a little different when we go to do it at a marching contest um, when when everyone is there to to just watch marching band. It's 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 a different atmosphere. So one of the things that I know as the director that I really appreciated about it was the chance to um, go go do that and. Uh, uh, get that feedback, but also to uh, you know get one of those performances under our belt before we go to contest later on in October. And even though we've had two classes at this point, freshmen and sophomores, who've never done an official high school marching band performance, it I honestly felt like it went fairly well. Yeah, it, it was it was a good day. Uh, the weather, of course, was fantastic. Yeah, the weather was very nice. Overpass by Wahoo, who took back over by Beatrice. Here they're setting up offense. Swing on the outside by Chelsea Lenners. Yeah, to send up the attack, and it's in the net. Of course, currently 17 to 19 in favor of Wahoo. Like I said, a little technical difficulty on that score bug on the bottom of the screen there. We'll keep seeing if we can get that to work as the night goes on. Little tip shots there by Hayden Ashmera, and she comes back with a full swing that time, dug up. Swing by Avery Martin, unfortunately, straight into the net. The actress is really liking that net right now. That's not a good sign. We need to get that fixed quick. Avery Martin with the attack. Wahoo bumps it back over. Swing Leonard's dug up by Wahoo. And that swing on the outside was by number 10, Tiana Coffey for Wahoo. Scores 17 to 21 in favor of Wahoo now. Back serving for Wahoo is number two, Taylor Lubin, their, their uh, libero. Joust at the net results in a swing for Wahoo. Beatrice can't come up with that dig. 17 to 22. Beatrice takes a timeout. We're going to take just a little break. See if we can get the guys downstairs to roll some sponsors for us while we take this short little break.
Still back to serve for Wahoo, Taylor Lubin. And Taylor with the ace serve there. We did get this afternoon some uh, late results from that uh, Trailblazer Marching Band event. And your Beatrice Marching Orangemen finished runner-up this year. So congratulations to them. Another tough serve by Taylor. Just tri trickles over the tape. Not much you can do on those. Now, once it hits that top of the net, if it still goes over, there's no, no way of telling where it's going to go. Brings up the uh, set point for Wahoo. Taylor with yet another tough serve. That kill there by number four, Josie Sutton for Wahoo, the six-foot senior that gives Wahoo the win in the first set final score of that one, 17 to 25. The actress seems a, a little bit rusty right now. We need to figure out what's happening and get it fixed quick. We do have another really big event coming up this weekend I do want to talk about. We were going to have a guest with us right about now, but uh, some of those JV matches took a little longer to get done, so we're going to talk about that ourselves. But uh, Beatrice High School is proud to present their 2021 fall musical starting on Saturday, and that is Cinderella under our first year Choir director here, Hannah Lohs, uh, along with all of the students in the concert choir. And uh, those shows you can catch this weekend, Saturday at 2 o'clock, Sunday at 2.30, and then Monday night, the final performance will be at 7 p.m. So you can catch all of those uh, this weekend. You can buy tickets at the door. Tickets are $10 for adults and $7 for students. 10 for adults, 7 for students. You can buy those at the door, and those doors will open 45 minutes prior to the show starting. And as we mentioned, lots of things going on. Uh, band, of course, had their conference thing yesterday. Other conference uh, events that are coming up in the very near future. Uh, softball this Saturday goes to the conference tournament as well. That is up in Ralston. Uh, and the Lady O softball team is having a great season as well. They're currently playing um, out at Hannibal Park against Crete. And the softball team is currently ranked number five in Class B. So uh, as they traditionally do, having another great season in softball. The uh, cross-country team has their next meet on October 1st over at Syracuse. And then their conference meet is October 7th up at Wahoo. The girls golf team was the pious invitational today. They have their conference meet next Wednesday. So those are the conference events coming up here in the very near future. It's a very bu busy week this, folks. It is a busy time of the year for sure. And it's only going to get busier as it goes on. While well, these teams start wrapping up and getting ready for postseason play, it's uh, all of these games mean just a little bit more. So looking for the Lady O to rebound here in the second set. While who's trying off for the second set, and it's out. Serve goes long. Back to serve coming into the match now. It's going to be Hannah Ray, number one. Now who bumps it over? Yeah, time. The dig. Yeah, tip shot there covered nicely by the Beatrice Libero, Addie Hatcliffe that time. Swing on the outside for Wahoo. That's number seven, Maya Larson, the 5'11 senior. You know, from what I've seen so far in this match, Wahoo is going a lot to that left side out, you know, outside hitter and uh, with great effect at this point. So uh, I'm sure that's something that Coach Carper and the, and the coaches talked with the girls about during that set break, covering that left side just a little bit more. 
Of course, when you make adjustments like that, that opens you up somewhere else. So let's see how this plays out. Swing from the middle by Emily Allen and down. Take a look at that replay. Nice block by the Lady O right there at the net. I think that was probably uh, Chelsea Lenners and maybe Ellie Jurgens in there on that block. That's something uh, the Lady O are really good at, getting up that defense. Just that we're not quite used to uh, as quick as an opponent as Wahoo, but we're slowly making adjustments. Left side swing again. Not quite as far outside that time for Wahoo, but still with the same effect. Wahoo with the serve here. Beatrice with the attack. Sets it up to the right the side, block. blocked by Ellie Jurgens there. And then the right side again, that time into the net. Up to serve for uh, the actress is Kira. Well, on the attack, but the actress is starting to get that defense down. Net violation there on Wahoo. Point for Beatrice, who now has the lead in this set, five to two. Five to two. Again, our apologies on that score bug at the bottom. It's just not wanting to cooperate with us tonight. Everything was working great this afternoon, but that is just the way it goes sometimes. Technology is a beautiful thing, but sometimes it just does not want to work. There we go, a little tip shot and down for the point for Beatrice. Now up out to a 6-2 to two lead. Tip shot from Wahoo. Picked up free ball over the net. There's the left side again. And a rocket from the left side. That time was number seven, Maya Larson again. Scores now six to three. Kira Busboom comes out. And number nine, Macy Ronewald into the game for the Lady O. Back to serve for Wahoo, number seven, Maya Larson. They go right after Macy with that serve. Swing from the back for Beatrice, and it is wide. Beatrice sends a free ball back over the net to Wahoo. Swing from the right side, blocked by Beatrice. Chelsea Lenners, they tip it over that time from the right again. Back row swing by Wahoo. The actress was slightly off balance there. Balance is yet again a key component of volleyball. Just like communication. Still going after Macy Grunewald with that serve, fresh into the game. Swing by Chelsea Lenners off the block and finds the floor. Back into the game, going to be number 17, Avery Martin. Jump serve by Ellie Lenners. 
big swing from the left side there. That's Hayden Ashimera, but blocked right by Beatrice and down. Great replay of that one there by the guys downstairs. And now an ace serve for Beatrice. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered, they're up nine to five now in this second set. Wahoo leads the game, of course, one nothing in sets. Beatrice going on a run here. Yeah. Ellie Lenners from that corner again. Jump serve. Wahoo with the bump. A little set shot over in the middle there. Set up for Avery Martin, swing, blocked. And it finds the floor. Point Wahoo, nine to six now. Yeah, just with the three point lead. That serve goes long. Point Beatrice, ten six. Back to serve, Chelsea Lenners. Wahoo wins the joust there, point Wahoo. Dug up by Macy Gronewald there. Swing Avery Martin. Little roll shot. Left side swing for Wahoo again. Comes back over the net. They'll reset. Swing by Emily Allen and down right there. Serve goes long. 11 to 8. Lady O still lead in the second set. Back serving for Wahoo, Hayden Oshmera. Jump serve to the middle of the floor. Little roll shot from the right side on Avery Martin there as they were trying to get back to where they're set up. And that hit by Wahoo goes on the outside of the net. Into the game for Beatrice, number one, Hannah Ray. She's back to serve. Net violation on Beatrice there. Point for the Warriors. It was a little interesting watching these two teams, how many freshmen are seeing the court uh, on both sides of the net. A little bit of everybody down there. We have to the attack, but it goes into the net. Wahoo, of course, started three freshmen. And Beatrice starts just the one, but you see another one in there quite a bit, always in the back row there to serve in Hannah Ray. Another swing and a kill for Emily Allen once again right there in the middle. Patty Hatcliffe with the serve. Oh, who goes to the middle hitter that time? Avery. Ah, oh, but it's long. <laughs> Once again, we got that musical coming up this weekend. We'd love to see you guys come on out. Uh, the aforementioned Emily Allen there is one of our lead characters. She happens to be playing one of the stepsisters in that show. I've gotten to see it a few times already. Uh, working on the technical side of things, kill for Beatrice. They now have a 15 to 11 lead. 
or excuse me, 14 to 11. Kira Busboom back to serve. And that one finds the back line and in, ace serve for Kira Busboom. Swing by Kira there. Wahoo's out of system there. Left side hitter again for Wahoo, number seven, Maya Larson with the big kill there. Scores 15 to 12 in favor of Little Lady O. Back to serve now for Wahoo, Maya Larson. I've noticed Lady O has been keeping a constant three-point lead in this set. Let's see if we can keep that up. Left side blocked that time by the Lady O. They go again, a little roll shot this time. Yeah, just the dig. Dug up nicely by Hannah Ray. Another swing by her, there by Ellie Jurgens. That time can't quite get it over. 15-13, Lady O. Timeout, Beatrice. So we've talked some of the music events that are going on. Let's fill you in with softball a little bit. Like we said earlier, they're ranked number five in Class B, having a great year. They're playing out at Hannibal Park tonight against Crete, and their conference tournament is this Saturday in Ralston. Of course, we mentioned the football game tomorrow night. That's going to be a doozy. We got Norris coming into town. Our Beatrice Orangemen, of course, are ranked number eight right now in Class B. Norris comes in ranked number seven with a two and two record. But those two losses they've had are both by very close scores against very highly rated teams in the Class B. The following week, the boys will go on the road up to Waverly to play another highly ranked team. That, that is number five, Waverly. Tennis today played at the Waverly Invite. And uh, next Tuesday, they are at the Kearney Catholic Invitational. And then on October 1st, they have their big Beatrice Invitational. So they got a number of tennis matches here in the next week. Coming back from this timeout, we got Beatrice up 15 to 13 here in the second set. Wahoo leads in the match one set to none, winning that first one 25-17. Four hits on Beatrice, a point for Wahoo on that one. Back serving for them yet is number seven, Maya Larson. She's gone on a service run here. We've got to find a way to stop this run and uh, get a point back in our tally. Unfortunately, that did not do it. Score tied 15 to 15. Words of encouragement from Coach Carver there. 15 all. Long serve might have been out, but when you might have, you got to go for it. A dump shot. Up. That's about all Ellie could do with that one is push it back over the net. We had a few people there. Net violation on Beatrice on that one. Point Wahoo. We now lead 16-15 here in the second set. I noticed that last point, uh, Lady O were having a lot of miscommunication, a lot of bumping into each other. Got you to the attack. That right in good. the middle, Chelsea Lenners there with the kill in the middle. Stops what that Wahoo run, 16 all now here in the second. Back to serve, number 11, Ellie Jurgens. Yeah, 
a serve there, Point Beatrice. Current score standing at Beatrice 17, Wahoo 16. Another nice serve by Ellie there. Oh, they're calling that one down. I thought we had a beautiful little pancake there on the floor. Of course, we had parent-teacher conferences this week, so that means no school tomorrow. So uh, I don't know, I might be having me some pancakes tomorrow morning. Same here. Pancakes sound good right about now. Tough jump serve by their libero. That swing by Avery Martin hits the antenna. 17 all here in the second. And it is good. Current score 18 all. Just finds that back corner there, like we saw on the replay. Chelsea Leonard's back to serve for the Lady O. Score tied at 18. Blocked by Avery Martin. And Emily Allen, that ball finds the floor. Great block by those two. That ball set a little tight to the net by Wahoo there. Uh, that'll be number five, Audrey Wado. Set a little tight, and Beatrice able to just touch it as it comes over the top of that net and get it back down for the points. Score here in the second set is 20 to 18. Wahoo leads in sets one nothing, but Beatrice leads here in the second set 20 to 18. Big thank you to our premier sponsors rolling across there, Beatrice Educational Foundation, the Big Red Math and Science Grant, Dr. R.J. Crandall and Beatrice Family Chiropractic, the Aaron and Jackie Nielsen family, Beatrice High School Science Club, Crawford Heating and Air, First State Bank. Of course, we couldn't do it without all of these folks. Runza, Casey's, and of course, our Beatrice Orange Booster Club. Coming back in here, 20 to 18. Beatrice leads here in the second set. Chelsea Leonard still in to serve. <laughs> Big swing from the back row by Wahoo there. That one has seemed to catch us off guard a bunch of times there. It's, it's just one of those you're so used to. They pound that left side hitter, left side hitter, left side hitter, left side hitter, boom, back row, and it just catches you off guard. Back serving for Wahoo, Tiana Coffey. She gets the ace serve there. Scores now 20 to 20 here in the second set. Kill there by Wahoo's number 18, Hayden Oshmera from the left side again. Back to serve for them, number 10, Tiana Coffey. Yeah, just setting up something good here. Wahoo's returning the favor. Yeah, just bumped it back over. Wahoo in the oh. Set over the net there by Wahoo. Emily Allen able to reach over, and then Wahoo with the lift on that play. Kind of caught her shoulder and rolled down her arm, and there wasn't a whole lot she could do on that one. Kind of wrong place, wrong time. Works out for Beatrice, 21 all.
Setting up the right side for Beatrice. Swing by Kira Busboom. Left side for Wahoo. Gets across, hits the Wahoo blockers and lands out of bound. Point Wahoo, 22 to 21 now in favor of Wahoo. That first set, Wahoo went on a little bit of a run there at the end, see if we can hold them off this time and find a way to get this one in the wind column for Beatrice. Good swing there. Avery Martin with the kill there. That one kind of catches the net, puts some wicked English on it, and just spins sideways out of the reach of the Wahoo defenders. Hannah Ray back to serve for Beatrice. 22 all here in the second. Too high bump there, it bounced off the ceiling and just right down the floor. Point Wahoo, current score, Beatrice 22, Wahoo 23. Serving for Wahoo, number four, Josie Sutton. Tough serve there right on the sideline. Beatrice just has to hit it back over the net. Set up the left side for Wahoo, blocked by Emily Allen and down. Awesome block by Emily Allen there. I don't know how many blocks she has on the night, but uh, I know I've said her name a few times for those blocks, so that is awesome to see her do that. We saw that earlier in the year. I believe they were playing Plattsmith that night. We had a number of blocks that night. Addie Hatcliffe with the serve. And Wahoo into the net off of that first pass. Beatrice 24, Wahoo 23. See if the actress us. can sneak away with the set win. Gives us set point right here. Timeout Wahoo before we get to that. We were having a little issue here with the, uh, with the first set, but it looks like Lady O finally figured it out and really hammering it down there on, in the second set. Yeah, they, f they found a way to uh, maybe communicate a little bit better on the floor. It looks like... Uh, you know, a little less communication issues. There's there's a time, of course, some of that chaos. That's what volleyball is at times, you know. You just got to hit and recover. It is definitely a game of reaction. Um, but uh, Beatrice also doing mixing it up a little more on offense, I would say, here in the second set. You know, we've, we've seen um, kills from the left and the right side and a handful of them from the middle as well. So kind of a really balanced attack on offense for Beatrice here in the second set. See if we can finish this one out. Here we have our uh, cheerleaders uh, hyping up the crowd, getting everybody ready. See if we can finish off this uh, second set strong. 24-23, Beatrice here in the second. Wahoo leads the game 1-0. Addie Hatcliffe back to serve. Wahoo in the attack. Nicely defended there by Beatrice. A little bump shot by Ellie. Tipped over by Wahoo. Dug up. See if we can get it back over. We do. Scramble and survive. Here we go. Really close. <laughs> great, great effort there. That was a long rally with a lot of uh, unknowns happening there. Great effort. We're now tied to 24 here in the second set. Back to serve for Wahoo, number five, Audrey Wado. <laughs> Swing on that one was Ellie Jurgens. No, excuse me, Kira Busboom on that one. And uh, tipped at the net by Wahoo. So the point goes to Beatrice, 25-24, set point number two for the Lady O. Here with the serve. We're now tied at 25. This is constant back and forth, constant back and forth.
Tip shot by Jaden Cardaris there. She sets up the serve. Ellie with the swing, and that one is going to find the back wall for the points. Now 26-25, Beatrice brings up set point number three for the Lady O. Back into the game, Avery Martin for Beatrice, and Hannah Ray is out. And back to serve for Beatrice from the corner, the very corner of the gym, way down there, <laughs> number 11, Ellie Jurgens. On the attack, but it goes oh, the Hits that one in the net, into the net. Beatrice wins set number two, 27-25. Ties our match at one game each. It's been a very, very good game so far. Lady O, we're playing a little risky there in the first set, but it seems like in the second set, we really found our footing and are really hammering it down. Yeah, good game, a lot of back and forth there, um, but you would expect that with a couple of really good teams. Um, like we said, you know, Beatrice has, uh, you know, played a, played a pretty tough schedule, and uh, Wahoo definitely is a tough schedule uh, for them. This, the, like we mentioned earlier, those teams that they've lost to are uh, definitely nothing to, uh, you know, shake a stick at or however you want to say that. But uh, quality, two quality teams just going at it tonight. You know, so it's like we said earlier, we saw that last week when Malcolm came into town. You know, they beat us previously. And then Beatrice came out swinging and uh, won that match. So we'll see where this one takes us as the night goes on. Well, we're uh, sitting here waiting for the, uh, the next start set to start. Why don't we get some uh, commentary from our high camera operator? We should mention everybody yeah, who's working tonight. A high cam again tonight. We've got Josiah Miller again. He is over there. And then down in the studio, of course, we've got on the PTZ cameras, Brett Powers running the TriCaster tonight, Christian Evans running our video board is Braxley Garvey. There's the guys and Mrs. Oltman down in the studio having a good fellas. time as usual. And Carol Oltman, our producer down there tonight. Up top here again, this is Andrew Johnson and I've got Alex Veneman alongside me. And uh, we've got Josiah Miller on a headset now. Say hello, Josiah. Hello, everybody. How's it going? going great for me so let me ask you a question Josiah in our uh, class that we have that that does these productions um, what is what's the most fun thing that you have learned learned or done in there so far probably some of the awesome statics that we've made it's a it's really awesome seeing them be able to seeing them on the screen here and being showed for all of us and yeah, so our stat static images um, with our production, we produce those in uh, Adobe Photoshop. And uh, they use used on the video board, and you see a few of them on the stream as well. But uh, most of those are used for in-house here on the video board, and we try to rotate those around so that uh, we don't see the same ones all the time. There's one of them right there. Alex, same question for you. What's one of the most fun things you've done uh, in the class so far? I would also have to say making all the static images Photoshop it, it has its quirks, but once you fully master those quirks, you can make some very, very cool, just interesting things. Yeah, and I would say um, this is now the, the third year Mrs. Oltman and I have been dealing with the Photoshop a little bit. And uh, just the other week, we had some of these guys showing us some things in Photoshop that we'd never even seen before. So it's really cool to watch, watch the students explore and learn some more things. Getting set for action here in set number three. The match is tied one to one in sets, of course. Wahoo won that first one, 17 to 25, and Beatrice comes back to win the second one in a few extra points there, 27-25. Jaden Kaderis is going to start back to serve for Beatrice. Ball at the attack, but it's long. Point Beatrice. Swing long by Wahoo. Wahoo is looking for a touch there at the net. That swing long by number eight, Kira Busboom. Back to serve for Wahoo now, number 18, Hayden Oshimera. See what Beatrice does with Wahoo's left side hitters here in this third set. Good up 
by Addie Hatcliffe. Free ball over the net from Beatrice. There goes Wahoo to that left side. Little tip shot. Picked up and over nicely by Jaden Kaderis. Swing from the middle that time from Wahoo. Finds the floor. Comes Oshmara's serve. That one is long. Into the match for Beatrice now. Number one, Hannah Ray. Out comes Avery Martin. Serving for Wahoo, now number four, Josie Sutton. Serves it right at Hannah Ray. Tough set there for Emily Allen to deal with. Couldn't do anything with it. Point for Wahoo, they lead here in the third, four to two. Big swing there by Kira Busboom with the kill. There we go. Addie Hatcliffe back to serve now. Kira with the swing again. Beatrice just has to bump it back over. Left side once again for Wahoo. Blocked that time by Beatrice. Unfortunately falling out of bounds though. Same thing happened for Beatrice there, just happened to Wahoo. Kiera with the swing into the Beatrice block and falls out of bounds. Point Beatrice, four to five. Beatrice trails by one here in the third set. Kiera's back to serve. Jump serve is long. Four to six now in favor of the Warriors. Macy Grunwald's coming into the match. Kiera Busboom's coming out. Back to serve for Wahoo, number seven, Maya Larson. Set to the right side for Wahoo there. Left side for Beatrice, number 11, Ellie Jurgens finds that back left corner. Five to six now, Wahoo still leads by one. Ellie Jurgens, the deep corner serve goes over the net. Swing from the back row by Wahoo. Dug up by Beatrice. Swing by Avery Martin. Wahoo goes left side and goes cross court. Out of bounds. Six all here in the third set. The set's kind of been a little back, back and forth, back and forth. Two great teams going at it. Wahoo with the tip over, hit the ground. Beatrice wasn't quite ready for that. And a tough pass there on that serve, and the setter just barely gets some fingertips on it, and they tip it back the other way, and it finds, finds the floor on the other side of the net. Back serving for Wahoo, Taylor Lubin. Avery, with the Avery Martin with the swing. Current score, seven all. Chelsea Leonard's back to serve now. Chelsea with the standard serve. Wahoo can't get that one over the net. 
point. Beatrice eight to seven here in the third. Avery with the attack. Oh, but it's blocked. Point Wahoo. Good swing again by Avery. Blocked there that time by Wahoo. Nobody covering behind her to pick that one back up, unfortunately. Tied at eight. Serving for Wahoo, number 10, Tiana Coffey. Pushed over by Jaden Caderas. Net violation on Beatrice there. on the serve. Jaden Caderas is going to be back to serve here. Bus boom in for Beatrice now. Hayden Ashmera. Prince score, Beatrice nine, Wahoo 11. Beatrice barely bumps it over. Wahoo in the attack. Finds that corner. <laughs> Mentioned girls golf was at that Pius Invitational today. Lady O finished in seventh place at that invite. Kiara finished third and Maddie in tenth. So nice job by those two golfers. Like we said, if you're a fan of Beatrice Athletics, there is something going on for you to come watch because there's something almost every day the next couple of weeks. It is busy, busy. Swing by Emily Allen, blocks, she picks it back up. Oh, who with the attack, but it's long point Beatrice. We are currently standing at a score of Beatrice to 10, Wahoo 13. I actually called two hits on that one before the, the swing there, but either way, point Beatrice. Back serving now, Hannah Ray. That serve unfortunately goes long for the Lady O. Point for the Warriors. 10 to 14 in favor of Wahoo. Ball hits the antenna over there on the far side. Timeout, Beatrice. Score, Beatrice 10, Wahoo 15 here in the third set. Our match is tied one set apiece with Wahoo leading here in the third. Alex, did you ever do any sports when you were little? Uh, in fact, yes, I did. I, um, I used to play a, a smidgen of um, flag football and a bit of uh, YMCA soccer, but I was mostly prominent in um, uh, basketball. I wasn't much of a on the offense side, but on defense, I feel like <laughs> I, was, I was pretty good. I, I was kind of that way too, and then I got to about fifth grade and went, yeah, there's a lot of guys that are better than me, so I found something else to do, and I ended up running and running and running. And then, of course, just like you, I uh, did the band thing, and you're doing that now too. Alex is a tenor sax player for us in the, in the, in the band, so he was 
up with us at that uh, conference event yesterday. Alex's brother, of course, teaches here at the high school and is one of our uh, assistant basketball coaches. Yep, Mr. It's his uh, second year now, I believe. Is that right? Uh, yes, his uh, second year of teaching both uh, freshman and senior English. Back serving for Wahoo, number four, Josie Sutton. Let's see what Beatrice can do out of the timeout. Set up on the left side again for Wahoo. And it is wide, Point Beatrice. Patty Hatcliffe up to the serve. Once we get her the ball. Here we go. Patty with the jump serve. Well, who on the attack? Beatrice on the defense, good block. Swing. Block Beatrice. Addy still serving, scores 12 to five. Wahoo with the lead here in the third. Big swing by Maya Larson of Wahoo, dug up nicely by Addy Hatcliffe. And they go to the right side on that one. Swing cross court. Can't pick that one up. Sometimes those that are coming so far across the court from one side clear to the other, that's really hard to dig out and then control it so that your teammates got a chance to play it next. A little miscommunication there on Beatrice's side. Point Wahoo gives them the 17 to 12 lead here in the third. Kill for Chelsea Lenners there off of the tip. 13 17 now. Wahoo still with the lead. Beatrice just has to run a few off here. They did that in the second set, got right back in it, and ended up winning that one in a few extra rallies there at the end. Free ball over. And back over the other way. Beatrice in the scramble there. Great job by Addy to get that one. And it's and Beatrice out. gets set, and Wahoo, Wahoo hits that one deep. Deep in the sea, you could say. Swim with the fishes. Beatrice just down three now. Current score, Beatrice 14, Wahoo 17. Let's see if Beatrice can close that gap. Wahoo swing, for, there. swing for Chelsea Lenners there. Wahoo ready with the block. It falls down to the floor. Coming back into the game, number nine, Macy Gronewald. Kiara Busboom out for Beatrice. Back to serve number seven, Maya Larson. Beatrice barely kicked it over. Point for Wahoo. Yeah, dumped over by Beatrice and then Wahoo ready right away to dump it back clear to the other side where nobody was that time. for the Warriors on that one. They now have a six point lead here in the third set, 14 to 20. Coaches never want us to look ahead, but the next match for Beatrice will be next Tuesday. Against Omaha Concordia and Bennington up at Bennington. So they got a triangular up there in Bennington next Tuesday. The next time we see the volleyball play. Here we have our uh, cheerleaders yet again trying to get that crowd hyped up. It looks like it seems to be working. How many cheerleaders we got down there tonight? 
too many. Al almost <laughs> no, you can't have too many. It's got to be about 20 of them, maybe. Let's see. I don't know. Somebody else can count. Quite a few of them. But they do a nice job keeping everybody involved, jumping out there and uh, making some noise. Wahoo leads here in the third set, 20 to 14. The match is tied one set apiece. Current score, Beatrice 14, Wahoo 20. That is a quite significant gap. Let's see if Beatrice can close it in fast. Still serving for Wahoo, number seven, Maya Larson. Beatrice on the attack here. Wahoo returns the favor. Well, who's going to get called for uh, two hits there on that set? Wahoo well, leads by five. Current score be at 15. Wahoo well, 20. Ellie Jurgens down there in the corner, ready for the serve. Swing over there by Chelsea Lenners on the right side. Gets through, and Wahoo can't corral it. Pinballs around after going off a couple players. And Beatrice, the point, 16 to 20 now. Wahoo leads. <laughs> Nearly an ace serve there. Wahoo able to get it back over. Swing by Avery Martin, Wahoo setting it up. Back row, that time they choose to just dump it. And then a dump shot for Beatrice. Chelsea Leonard's there, tips it back over, finds that hole right in the middle of their defense. Avery Martin, she's very powerful when she's on the left side. If we can get it set up correctly, definite point for sure. That swing from the back row by number seven, Maya Larson of Wahoo. Finds Macy Gronwald back there in the corner and it uh, lands out of bounds. Back serving for Wahoo, number two, Taylor Lubin now. Up and blocked. Pinballs around, finds the floor. Score now 22 for Wahoo, 17 Beatrice. Lady O was scrambling, a little, scrambling there a little bit, trying to get the ball over that net, but sadly it wasn't enough. Lady O barely got it over the net. What a scramble. Off the block and finds out of bounds. 23-17 now, Wahoo. Adio sending it over. Wahoo on the attack. And it's good. Big swing from that left side gets them to 24-17 with set point for Wahoo here. Adio needs to be very careful here not to give another set away to Wahoo. Jump served by Lubin. Swing for Chelsea Lenners off of their block and down. Point for Beatrice. 18-24, Wahoo. Chelsea's back to serve now. Every in the attack, but it's blocked. Set blocked. for Wahoo. Blocked and down, that gives Wahoo set number three, then only lead in the match, two sets to one. Beam would like to thank these sponsors for helping making Helping to make live streaming and broadcasting possible, Lorne and Bonnie Bartles, Beatrice Educational Foundation, 
Beatrice Family Chiropractic, Dr. R.J. Crandall, Beatrice High School Science Club, Crawford Heating and Air, Tracy Crawford, First State Bank, Griffith Hoovenick Chapel, Aaron and Jackie Nielsen and family, Oltman Embroidery, Carol Oltman, G&G &G Golden Harvest, Pat and Julie Feist, Ron and Betty Lenners, Jeff and Vicki Suter, Runza, Casey's, Big Red Math and Science Grants, Beatrice Orange Booster Club, Michaela Jones, First National Bank of Omaha, Gail Matan, Robert and Karen Nielsen, Security First Bank, and Pickerel Lumber, Lumber and Hardware. Thank you to those sponsors. Speaking about that Runza, I could go for a Runza burger right about now. Oh, you say that every time, I think, Alex. I mean, who doesn't love a good Runza burger? <laughs> Do you not get dinner tonight or something? Uh, actually, no. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, actually, well, next time I see your parents, I'll have a chat with them for you. <laughs> I, I plan on, when I get home, I plan on having a, a big old plate of chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo, there you go. So we'll see what Beatrice can do here as we come into this fourth set. Once again, just want to remind everybody about that big football game tomorrow night. Norris coming to town. Always a big rivalry game, and uh, this year has, you know, a little added emphasis being a district game uh, for the football team. Beatrice looking to maintain their undefeated record. They're currently sitting at 4-0 and ranked uh, number eight in Class B. Norris at two and two coming in, ranked number seven. So we'd love to come have everybody come out and defend our home turf tomorrow night and uh, help get those boys a victory tomorrow night. And then the next day, come back, come back and uh, check out the musical. Looks like some people uh, who are actually a part of the musical are coming <laughs> to check out the game. Looks like they're having a bit of a break. Well, they're, they're, uh, they're in the middle of a rehearsal now, and not always are all of them on stage, so they, they sneak out once in a while. But uh, they, they've put in a lot of long hours just this week. Uh, you know, we had parent-teacher conferences here at the high school Monday night and Tuesday night, but uh, we started a rehearsal for those uh, for the musical as well, starting at 7.30 both of those nights. So 7.30 till 10 o'clock or so Monday and Tuesday night. They're here tonight. Uh, hopefully they're not here you know, quite that late tonight. And then we got one final rehearsal tomorrow morning before we open for the weekend. So uh, they put in a lot of hours, and it's it's going to be a great show. Um, I've, I've gotten to see a number of those here over my years that I've worked here in Beatrice now. This is year number nine for me here. So the ninth musical I've seen done here, and a lot of those have been, or all of those have been really high-quality productions, a lot of fun to see, um, really fun to think back about some of those people that were in those shows you know, years after it, and uh, I'm sure this one will will hang with me the same. Got you to attack here, but it's blocked and out. Excellent job by Beatrice to start with a big swing on the outside there. I think that one was Annie Gleason with the, the kill there off the block and it lands out. Should mention some of those other lead characters in that musical. Uh, of course, the Prince's family, our prince is uh, Nolan Marlette. And then his parents are played by Trey Bear and Abby Trantham. And then our uh, stepsisters, we mentioned one of those earlier. She's uh, playing volleyball right now. But uh, Emily Allen, the other stepsister is Jordan Miller. And their stepmother is McKenna Bloom, who I believe may be over there cheering tonight, or maybe not tonight. She's at musical. Nope. You know, there she is. I see her now. So she's over there cheering. These, these kids, they do a lot of different things, you know, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, so she's the stepmother. And then uh, we've got our fairy godmother is Raquel Moore. And then, of course, we have a number of other people who are in the ensemble as mice and horses and all of those things that we all know from that classic Cinderella story. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of musicals, but I am looking forward to this one. I'm definitely planning on going. I always enjoy uh, the Beatrice High School musicals. They are so well produced. So much time and effort has gone into them. They are always very highly produced. Swing by Kira Busboom here on the left side. Wahoo sets up their left side. 
she gets that one down on the floor. Score now three to two, Beatrice leads. Tickets for that musical again can be purchased at the door, $10 for adults, $7 for students. And those doors will open 45 minutes before the show starts. Saturday, that's at two o'clock. A little tip shot by Andy Gleason there, gets over the net, finds the floor. Saturday at two o'clock, Sunday, 2.30, Monday night at 7 p.m. are our show start times. Beatrice leads here in the fourth set, four to two. In the match, Wahoo leads two sets to one. Back serving for Beatrice, number one, Hannah Ray. Beatrice sending it over. Wahoo on the attack. Left side again. Maya Larson over there, number seven for Wahoo. Current score, five to two, Beatrice. Point Wahoo makes it 5-3, Beatrice with the lead here in the fourth set. Back serving for Wahoo, number five, Audrey Wado. One of their freshman starters. Swing by Kira there. Net violation on Wahoo there, point Beatrice. The swing was good as well. I think uh, players and coaches in the stat book would rather have that one count as a kill for Beatrice there, but in the long run, we take the point either way. Indeed. Addie Hatcliffe with that serve. Pass was long, tipped back over by Beatrice. Dumped over by Wahoo. Sets up a swing by Kira Busboom off of the hands and finds the back corner point. Beatrice, seven to three now, Beatrice with the lead. Kiara Busboom is very, very scary on that right side. Wahoo's calling a timeout now. Here we go, here we go. Seven to three, Beatrice with the lead here in the fourth set. Seems like we're having a bit of a repeat of uh, the second set here. Would say if you're planning on coming out to that football game tomorrow night, maybe plan to come a few minutes earlier than normal. I know they're expecting large crowds for that game, being a rivalry game with a lot of, uh, you know, implications down the road here for those teams. So maybe just plan ahead a little bit and get out here a little early. Weather's supposed to be really good again tomorrow, like we've had, you know, yesterday and today. So get on out to the stadium and support everybody that's performing out there, whether it's the cheerleaders, the, the marching bands, and of course the football team that were all there to rally behind and cheer them on to a victory. I've been really impressed with them this year, just how hard they play. Uh, they had a tough game last week up at Elkhorn North, actually had to go into overtime. And uh, Elkhorn North had the ball first in overtime. They scored their touchdown, kicked their PAT to take the seven point lead. And then uh, Beatrice gets the ball gets that touchdown on a little uh, pass to Tucker Timmerman, I believe it was. And then uh, Coach Keiser elects to go for two and pounds it straight up the middle for the win last week against Elko North. So Beatrice gets that win. That one finds the back line. Or excuse me, misses the back line. Point Wahoo on that one. But Kiesier goes up the middle for the two-point conversion last week to win that game for Beatrice in overtime. Grand score, seven to four, Beatrice.
slight gap in uh, Lady O's defense here, and Wahoo took advantage of it. Point Wahoo, current score, 7-5, the Actors. Back serving for Wahoo, Maya Larson. Blocked there by Chelsea Lenners in the middle. Point Beatrice, eight to five. Kira must move back to serve for the Lady O. It is long, Point Wahoo. The game for Beatrice, number nine, Macy Gronewald. Serving for Wahoo, number two, Taylor Lubin. Jurgens there, point Beatrice. Yeah, kill Ellie Jurgens. I was watching the line official there and I was momentarily confused. <laughs> but uh, point Beatrice, nine to six now here in the fourth. Hey, we take those. Kill for Wahoo there, current score, Beatrice nine, Wahoo seven. Wahoo up to serve here. Dug up by Addy. And again by Addy. A couple of really nice passes there by Addy. You always want that ball to go over to where your setter is so she doesn't have to run clear across the court. Both of those on that rally there went pretty much right to her. Sets up Jaden really well to be able to set up the hitters on the first swing. And then on that second one, she saw a hole in their defense and just dumped it right into it. Served by Chelsea Lenners. And Wahoo can't get it back over. A serve for Chelsea Lenners. She'll go back to serve yet again. Beatrice leads 11 to 7 here in the fourth set. Another ace serve, Chelsea Lenners, two in a row. Let's go. Let's see if we can go for three for three. Almost. There we go, Beatrice setting up their offense. Another great pass swing there by Annie Gleason in the middle. Back row swing for Wahoo. Avery Martin this time for Beatrice. Left side for Wahoo, number 18, Hayden Oshmera with the kill. Current score, Beatrice 12, Wahoo 8. And Oshmera, of course, as it so often seems to go, you get a big kill and then it's your turn to go back and serve. So here she is back to serve. Gets it to Macy Gronewald, gets it right to Jaden Kaderis. Save to get it over the net. Avery Martin with the, with the miss hit there. Score now 12-9, Beatrice with the lead. Dig. Great dig on that serve by Ellie Jurgens. Results in the points eventually for Beatrice. Really nice up on that one. Kaderis back to serve now. Killed by number seven, Maya Larson there, over on the left side, of course. Back to serve number four, Josie Sutton for Wahoo. 13 to 10, Beatrice with the lead in the fourth set.
Bus boom with the miss hit there. 13 to 11 now. Wahoo was set up for that left side swing and she just tips it over that time. A little unforced error there on Beatrice. Score now is 13 to 12. And we got a little timeout here. Big plans tomorrow, Alex, on your day off, sleeping in? A uh, whole, whole lot of sleeping. <laughs> a whole lot of sleeping. Yeah, as, like we were talking, as, as many things as we've had going on this week, and uh, I know for the two of us that were at the marching band thing yesterday, I got home, and uh, I'm a little red today. <laughs> Being out in the sun all day yesterday, it was it was great weather, great event, but uh, it does take a little out of you. Food was good, though. Score against 13 to 12. Beatrice with the lead in the fourth set. Wahoo leads the match two sets to one. Again, invite you to either come on out to that football game tomorrow night or catch it right here on Beam. Again, big thanks to our guys down in the studio working for us down there. We couldn't do this without them. Back to serve for Wahoo is going to be number four, Josie Sutton. Beatrice barely was able to get over the net there. Beatrice on the attack. And it's good. Point Beatrice. Killed by Kira Busboom over there on the right side. Hannah Waves up to serve. <laughs> Net violation on Beatrice there. Point for Wahoo makes score 14-13. Beatrice with the one point lead. Back to serve number five, Audrey Wado for the Warriors. That play there all comes on that first pass. A little errant to the setter, so she's got to scramble, and then the set's not where you want it, and you're just stuck trying to get it back over. She served to the same spot, same result that time. But better for the third hit there. Tipped over to the far side where nobody was. Point Wahoo. They now lead 15 to 14. Wahoo with the jump serve here. Point for Wahoo, that ball hit the antenna. Wahoo leads by two, 16 to 14. Coach Carper there giving instructions to the girls on the floor. Just a really tough serve. Here with the swing goes long. 17-14 Wahoo leads. Timeout Beatrice. Gonna need the ladies to go on a little run again here, just like we did the last couple of sets, but we've done it before. We can do it again. Indeed. You got any plans this weekend, Johnson? Yeah, musical. Have musical, fun with that. football, musical, musical. Sounds like a very, 
very eventful weekend. Might, might find a little time to watch some college football Saturday yet, maybe some NFL football Sunday. Just try and relax a little bit when we're not busy out here with the, with the events going on out here. But uh, it's one of, one of the things that I've kind of learned and uh, always try to get my students to understand too, you got to make a little time for yourself sometimes to just sit down and chill too. Indeed. As we talked with 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 volleyball here a little bit, find that balance and uh, you know keep yourself grounded. So coming out of the timeout here, Wahoo with the 17-14 lead in set number four and the two to one lead in the match. Back serving for Wahoo still is number five Audrey Wado. She's got that tough jump serve. Long pass, Wahoo pounds that one right back down to the floor. Current score, Beatrice 14, Wahoo 18. Wahoo currently leads the game two sets to one. That block there was wide, point for Beatrice, 15 to 18 now, serving for Beatrice now, Addie Hatcliffe. Yeah. Maya Larson with the massive kill there from the right side this time. And then she goes back to serve now. Yeah, trying to go for that attack, but sadly, yet again, is long. Point Warriors, current score. Warriors leading by five. Warriors 20, Beatrice 15. Good pick up there by Kaderis. Wahoo a little out of system, they tip it over. Probably our longest rally of the night here. Kiara Buskroom, little tip shot. Wahoo picks it up. On we go. Back row swing for Wahoo. Constant back and forth. That one went uh, under the net. Point Wahoo. Unfortunately there. Uh, for Beatrice on that long rally there. Tiana Coffey with the kill there for the Warriors. Score 22 to 15, Wahoo with the lead. Stop and play, we got a shoe untied here. Barely able to get back over that net. Wahoo in the attack. A lot of scrambling here. And Ray to Kaderis, swing by Bus Boom. Tipped over, miscommunication. The ball finds the floor. Score 23 15 now. Adio needs to be careful here. If they, if they slip up too many more times, then Wahoo will take the victory. Yeah. 
point for Wahoo on that one brings them to match point here. 24-15, Wahoo in the fourth. Swing, bust, boom. Point Beatrice, we play on. Back serving for Beatrice. Kiara Busboom. <laughs> Pass over the net by Wahoo, so we get the kill by Ellie Jurgens there. 17 to 24. Beatrice is down here in the fourth, looking to stay alive. We got match point number three for Wahoo. Left side swing again for Wahoo. Finds that corner on match point number three. Wahoo able to finish this one off. Well, that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, Lady O have lost it, but we put up a valiant fight. Wahoo, they, they're fast, they hit hard, they're mean, but I felt like we put up a, a great effort. Yeah, good effort against a really, really tough team. Um, conference tournament here in the same gym here uh, in a couple of weeks so a uh, good chance that these two may see each other again at that but uh, Beatrice does fall unfortunately in this one three sets to one again we invite you to come on out tomorrow night to see the Beatrice Orangeman play in the House of Orange and if you can't make it out join us right here on beam to check out that game as well that is going to do it up here for me, Andrew Johnson and Alex Veneman sitting beside me tonight. Again, big thanks to our guys down in the studio. Carol Oldman, producer. Braxley Garvey on the video board. Christian Evans on the TriCaster. And Brett Powers on the PTZ with Josiah Miller running a camera up here tonight as well. That is going to do it for us. So long. Thanks. Good night.